So you walk him on his harness? Is that yeah, what he walks on? And this is a fairly new harness. And why did you why did you why did you get the harness for him to walk him on? Because I just had him on the collar and he was just he was walking out of the harness that we had. He managed yeah. he'd be backing out of it all yeah. the time. And do you do you think the harness is effective for you? For me, like it I stops him on, pulling? I can put it on his chest and he'll walk with me. Yep. But for some reason when Tracy has him, there's just nothing. Okay, so I don't need to even let you demonstrate. You, he's clearly going to pull you along? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so firstly, let me tell you, now, he's your dog. You walk him what you choose. I'm going to advise what I think, so I don't offend anybody. I don't like harnesses at all. I don't even know how to put half of them on. I've never owned one, because I know what they're used for for dogs. They're used to make a dog pull. That's what they put on a sled dog, wherever. They design that so they can pull. That being said, I know some of these are different. They have a little loop, and they make them come around. I've seen very few of them work. Very few people have success. A lot of people think the harness is doing the work, but truthfully, it's probably the dog, just a good dog and it walks good. And the harness is great. They're very low success rate when it comes to especially a big, strong dog like this, especially a big, strong shepherd, you know? But if you want to persist with the harness, we can try, but let's do this. Let's try my way, yep. see how he goes walking. Yep. And then if you want to try the harness, then we go to that. Yep. What's his basic obedience like? Like sit, stays, yeah. things like that. He'll sit, yeah. he'll, he'll stay just, you'll probably not get too far away from him before he just starts. So he's got a very basic yeah. stay. Hey, Bailey. Hey, buddy. Exploring, huh? Huh? Oh, you're a good dog. I like his body language, comes up, ears back, so he's not too dominant. Yeah, he's nice, you know? He's pretty relaxed, pretty chilled. This is why I let him come in early, have an investigation, get all this out of him. Um, okay, so yeah, so he doesn't do a very good stay. No recall at all. No recall. Like, well, we haven't really tried too much, Jason, because yeah. we're frightened that if, like, it, for example, we go camping heaps, yeah. we haven't been able to take him with us because yeah. uh, if I let him off the lead, yeah. I, I don't, I, I have no... Okay, so on that, the first step is we never let a dog off lead until he's trained. Yeah. So we go to a long lead. So we teach, there's a, there's a process for teaching a dog recall and people, everyone gets it wrong. It's the main reason I have a job because yeah. people, they mean well and they teach a little bit of basic cum like on the lead and then they go, okay, let's try off the lead now. No, no, it's from, it's from long lead to drop in the lead to no lead to controlled environments. Like you always got to be set up for success. So this is why this training area is good because we can let him off the lead, practice recalls. He actually has freedom, but we, he can't get away, you know, so we can practice it very hard at the beach or the dog park or anything like that. So we're going to address the basic obedience first, the sits and stays and things, and then we'll get to the walking because how it is in dog training is that you could have 10 problems in a dog and a lot of them generally come from lack of control, lack of leadership. So you become a better leader and the dog starts sitting better and staying better and things like that. It all just doesn't really have its place yet, yeah? So what we're gonna do is just do some basics first and we'll start on just a normal lead. Hey, Bailey. Do you know any recall? What about if I give you some food? Bailey. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. There we go. Will you give me a sit? Yes, good Bailey. Good boy, buddy. Oh, it's fine. Snob, huh? <laughs> Don't like my food. But you came to me at least. It's a start. Okay. So what I like to start with is you showing me how you would make this dog sit and stay. It's not to make fun of you. It's to see where you're at. Okay, so I'm going to give you the lead. I, your face shows me straight away that you're not confident of this dog. I go, do this, you're like... Yes, <laughs> I am. I'm need... frightened of how big he is. Yeah, That's... I get it. You're small, but we need to project that we're big. Yeah. Okay, you've got to tell this dog that you're in control. With dogs, it doesn't have to be all physical. A lot of it's about body language, yeah, and your attitude towards the dog. They'll pick up on your lack of confidence. and That's how they put it over you. Okay. So we need to get you being a lot more confident and knowing that I can control this dog. Show me how you sit your dog. Bailey, Bailey. Sit, Bailey. Bailey. Bailey, look at me. Bailey, sit. Bailey, sit. Okay, that'll do. Right here, show me. Bailey. Please, that'll do. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just seeing where Bailey's at more than anything. To be expected, didn't surprise me at all. Okay, good, difference in voice, size, tone, language, everything like that, good. Okay, so we can clearly, clearly see, like you said, Bailey listens to, 
the boss a little bit better and uh, you a bit less. But what your main problem you're doing, which is 99% of people's problems, is you're asking, you're not telling, and you're just waiting till he responds. So when you got your dog here, dog's name first, that was correct. Bailey, hey buddy, Bailey, Bailey, here. Bailey, sit, good boy. Voice inflection's really important, how you say the word. I don't say to Bailey, Bailey, do you mind sitting? Sit, 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 good boy. That was little voice, he still did it, because he sees me as a bit more dominant. You have to start doing this with Bailey. Bailey, sit, and if he doesn't, hands on his little butt, and push him into the sit. We're not gonna ask him twice, okay? So I want you to start remembering one command, one response. You ask him to do something, he doesn't do it, you physically, not hard, just pull the front up, Bailey, sit, pull this up, push this down, push him in the sit, okay? I want you to try that okay, for Get me. his attention, his name. Bailey, sit. Make him do it. Good, do it again. Better. Good boy. Better. Much better. Do it again. Stop there, go. Good. So all Bailey's doing learning now is that you're going to enforce the commands. He's going to take a little while, but I guarantee you that in very, very short time, he's going to respond. So the first thing is, when we give a command, before we try to give it, we try and really get his attention. I know a lot of people use food, and food is a great tool. Problem is when you don't have the food sometimes, the dog, not always, but often won't listen much at all without the food. So I try to go there last. Yeah, I'd rather try and do it by you physically commanding the dog and making him do it. So when you do it, you can even lure him to follow you for the sit. So let him follow, Bailey, 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 sit. So he's following me. Come around again. Hey, Bailey, Bailey, sit. Good boy. Come around again. Bailey, sit. Good boy. I want you to do that where you're walking backwards, yeah? And just sort of having him follow you. It's a bit of a game, get him That's engaged. That's the principle we're going to start with. Now, that, that principle is going to follow through the whole session for all our obedience. One command, one response. We're not asking twice anymore. You've got to get good at making him disengage from that pressure. See this here? Watch. Come, 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 come. Good boy, yes, good boy. Even a little bit of food, a good pat, whatever. He's got to learn that A, that won't work, Okay, and B, when he comes with me, it's much nicer. Okay, so we've got to get this guy engaged. Good boy, yes. So I'm going to do a little bit of lead walking here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I only need a small space. I'm not going to walk any particular pattern. I'm simply going to teach Bailey that when he follows me, good things happen. There's no pressure on the lead. He stays beside me. It's all good. Pats, food, whatever it is. I need, when, you, when you know what you're doing with handling, you don't need a big area. When you're new to it, you can get a bit lost in an area this size. The good thing is in a second, I can take all this out. So I'm going to open this up for you guys. But I'll demonstrate here first. I say nothing. I just walk off, pop the lead. Good. I'm just going to walk. And then watch. When I turn, I don't ask the dog to come. I turn. Little pull. Not much. Nothing. Very little. Being a smart breed, German Shepherd, they pick up very quick. If I just pay attention to where this guy goes, yes, good boy. Yes, there we go. Good boy. Yes, that's the way, Bailey. I turn this way. Ah, oh, good boy, yes. Look what happens when you follow me. Huh? Yes, look. That's the way, Bailey. Good boy. Oh, you don't like it. You're a bit of a food snob, huh? That's okay. Bailey, come, let's go. No, see this? Watch what I do. Pressure. Good boy. I don't give in to that pressure. If you give in to it once, it will happen again and again and again. Watch. Pop. Tiny. Two fingers. Good boy. I'm purposely using you as the bait. So I know he wants to be with you. Yes, that's the way. Good boy, Bailey. Good boy. I just walk. I walk off. Let's go. I turn. Two fingers. Good boy, yes. That's the way. Come on, quick, quick, quick. That's the way. I should be able to walk as slow as I want. And he walks to my pace. Yes, good boy, yeah. Nope. Pressure on, pressure off. Teach him if he comes, the pressure goes away. Look at you. Let's go. Look, little pop. See that? He thought about not coming. Little pull. Nothing. Good boy. See? 
Okay, you ready, buddy? Good boy, get him engaged. Let's go. I walk off, I turn. I don't call the dog. I'm just going to walk. If he goes this way, Bailey, wherever he goes, I'm pretty much going opposite. I want you to think of the game of tag. Yeah, good boy. I'm trying to get him engaged. And when I feel he's starting to walk beside me, yes, that's better. Yeah, good boy. Much better, Bailey. Yes, leave it. I'm going to use this leave it command now. Bailey, yes. I just change directions, loose lead. Bailey, Bailey, sit. Good boy, Bailey, stay. Stay. I put some stays in there. Good boy. Yes, let's go. I walk off, I turn. He lost a little bit of engagement there, I could tell. So I change direction. I need him to think that I can turn anytime and he's got to pay attention. Good boy. When he does pay attention, I praise him. Yes, good boy, Bailey. Lost attention there. Pop, little turn. Nothing too hard. It doesn't need to be hard. It's just got to be consistent. I'm checking on him. Bailey, got to pay attention, bud. Quick. Go back this way. Yes, good boy. Yeah, good boy. Sometimes I will give a bit of food. Bailey. When he follows, look at this. Yeah? I want your dog to remember that great things happen when he follows me. I want him to think being around me is a cool thing to do. Good boy. Bailey, sit. One command. Bailey, stay. Good boy. A little bit of movement. Stay. Yes. See the difference in engagement now? Good boy. Bailey. Free. Yeah, good boy. Have a little break for a second. And the break means lead off and he can just chill.